All right, guys, today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about body filler and putting body filler over epoxy versus putting body filler over bare metal. We start putting filler on a car. We wanna make sure that it is warm enough, but not too warm to where your filler is gonna start getting hard uh, immediately. So <clears throat> we've got the AC on in here. We've got a panel temp of about 70 degrees. Uh, anywhere from about 65 to 70 is, I would say, ideal for spreading filler and getting the filler to have a good work time. So when we mix filler, uh, it's almost critical to weigh it. If you're doing a high-end car, you don't want to, uh, you want to try to keep things uniform as possible. It's, a, it's critical to weigh this when you mix it. So we're going to mix it 50 to 1 or 2%. So I'll zero my scale out. Put some filler on. We're using 3M Platinum Select. I like this stuff, I like the way it spreads. Uh, I'm gonna put about 125. Got 125 grams of filler on here. 50 to one, that would be 2.5 grams of hardener. So we zero it out again. and 2.5 grams. So that is the proper mix for filling. So what I like to do is start with a nice tight coat. I'll use a small spreader and, and push it down into those sand scratches. Uh, typically, I'm using VP2050, which is on this car. And I am, a lot of times I'll buzz over it with 80 or 120 on a DA and uh, kind of rough it up and then I'll come back with some 80 or 120 by hand and kind of hit the low spots and, and prep everything really well for filler so that we have uh, mechanical adhesion into the scratches. But what I like to do is get it kind of roughed on there and then I'm gonna take one of our spreaders and we're gonna spread this so that I have one side of the spreader is on the door and it's on the next panel so that any little variations that I need to fill along the door will be filled, hopefully in one swipe. So you might have some extra left and that is gonna be a lot of stuff where if you left a bunch of lines in there, you might, uh, you would basically be sanding all that off. So that's kind of the idea is to spread it thinner to begin with, but only where you need it. So one, now that my filler is still wet, then I take and pull my tape. And then once this dries, I'll prep, finish prepping this door and we'll do the same this way. And then we'll start blocking it from one panel to the next. So one reason that we put epoxy over bare metal before we use filler, um, I'll say the biggest reason is probably, if you look at the ingredients, of what is in activator, benzol peroxide, water, benzic acid. I mean, there's lots of uh, lots of things in here that you don't necessarily want over bare metal and that epoxy, unlike urethanes and spray polys, does not breathe. It will not wick moisture in and out. It will not breathe the product in and out once it's totally cured. So that is a huge reason why we why we use epoxy before filler. And also in certain conditions, if you're not weighing your filler and you got, I'll, I'll say a hot batch, uh, that filler is gonna get hot as it dries. It's gonna get real hot and that can actually cause condensation between uh, the filler and the panel, depending on the panel temperature and the humidity and lots of variables, but it can happen. 